Today it's the 8th of June and the first thing I do is to make a small hole to put the seeds in. I cover the seeds with some soil and then take my water with a pH of 5.8 and spray. I have chosen Red Tiger from Fatali.net for this video. I will then put the seeds in my incubator with a built-in heat mat for faster germination. 10 days after we put them in soil, the first one is out. I will now transfer them to my startup light and I will have them on for 16 hours a day and 8 off. Twelve days later and it's time to make the first half strength nutrient at around 0.8 EC. EC stands for electrical conductivity and it measures how concentrated your nutrients are. We want a low concentration in the beginning. I use aquarium pump to mix my nutrients because I can do other things while it blends. I have 10 liters or 2.5 gallons of water and I always start with the silicon and shake it good. Silicon is used to prevent stems from snapping under heavy yields, protects the plants against heat, cold and intense lights and it helps to prevent pest attacks. Half strength, so 5 milliliters for 10 liters of water. I use a lot of different nutrients and you don't have to use them all, but I recommend at least the first five. Next up is CalMag and 5 milliliter there as well. CalMag regulates nutrient transport and strengthening cells and supports photosynthesis and enzyme process. Overall, it's for healthy growth. You will not need too much in the beginning, but rather later when fruiting. Next up, we have Flora Series 3 part, and I will go for a 1 to 1 ratio with 5 ml each. First up, we have Micro and is the foundation of the building block system, providing micro and sub-micronutrients and some complementary macronutrients. Next up is GROW 5 ml. GROW simulates structural and vegetative growth, builds strong roots and provides the majority of the nitrogen and potassium. Now we have BLOOM 5 ml. It provides the forms of phosphorus and potassium that your plants need to increase root formation and health during growth. It also helps fulfill their genetic potential to the maximum during flowering and fruiting. Next up is the optional diamond nectar or flavic acid. Diamond nectar are the substance that make minerals more easily absorbed by plants, making nutrients more effective. I use 10 milliliters and it doesn't affect EC. Last up we have SM90 5ml. SM90 is a wetting agent and encourages new root growth and improves transpiration. Wetting agents is used to lower the surface tension of the water. Now it's time to check our EC and see how close to 0 0.8 we got. 0 0.808, perfect. The last piece in the puzzle is to lower the pH of the nutrients to around 5.8. I will then let it rise with time to a maximum of 6.5 before I take it down to 5.8 again. The reason for that is that different minerals have different pH uptake. So the drift helps the plant to get all the nutrients it needs. I bring it down to 5.8 and let it settle for about 10 minutes before I check again. 5.8 and we are done. So now when we have done the nutrients, it's time to rinse the plant from soil and start this TVC journey. I have pre-cut my 3 inch net cup in the bottom for easier access later and rinse my clay pebbles until the water is clear. I then squeeze the size of the plastic container carefully and the plant will fall out by itself. Now it's time to rinse the plant from as much soil as you can without damaging the roots too much. Then just put the roots through the hole and fill it with clay pebbles. Oh. 
Now it's time for the plant to finally stay in its new home and I will have the pump on for 24 hours a day and the water level to touch the net cup. Now it's time to cross the peppers and I have chosen peach moruga as male or pollinator if you will. Tap gently on the back of the flower to get the pollen out. On the female plant look for a flower that haven't opened yet and gently remove the outer layer. Careful so you don't remove the stigma in the middle. Dip the stigma carefully in the pollen. Then I put a Ziploc bag over it to remove the chance of pollen from other plants to contaminate it. Here we have the male from which I took the pollen.
I present to you the first jungle fruit.